All right, I want to see if this attenuator was still any good or not. Um, I don't think I've ever used it. Um, and sometimes the attenuators go bad, the, connect, the contacts go bad or things like that. So I wanted to test it out. Um, so I figured we'll put in one volt and then we'll measure the output. Um, and so if you put in one volt, uh, you get one volt. And 6 dB down should be half a volt, so 6 dB uh, 0.48. Uh, let's click it again. 0.49, so maybe the contacts are dirty. 0 .4, 495, 0 0.497. So the first thing I did wrong, uh, I guess it's a trap for me, <laughs> a trap for young players. It's a 50 ohm attenuator, which means it's expecting 50 ohms on the output. And uh, originally, I didn't have a 50 ohm load on the output. I was just measuring uh, the actual attenuator itself. So um, there you go. So uh, zero is one volt, but six is 0.8 volts. So it's expecting this 50 ohm load on the output to uh, to give you the right. Uh, the right TBs. So I put a 50 ohm BNC on there. This is just a 50 ohm resistor and a BNC and half of uh, 0.5, right? Half a volt. So, 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 oh, so now it's measuring perfectly, right? So let's calculate what it should be and then I can compare things. So, what should it be? Let's go here to the paper. So we have 0 through 12, but what, what is a dB? A dB is uh, dB volts is 20 log. If it's dB power, it's 10 log, but we're measuring volts. So it's going to be a uh, 20 log of uh, volts over volts. So um, the, the ratio of the volts, you take the logarithm base 10 uh, times 20. So does that, does that make sense? Um, if you have one volt and uh, half a volt, um, you get 0.5 and you take 0.5 and you take the uh, log base 10 of that and then you multiply that by 20 and there's a minus sign out here. So it's minus 6.02. So minus 6 dB is, is half. So that's the correct formula. What if we want to calculate what they should be? So this is equal to uh, dB. If we want to calculate the ratio for a given dB, uh, we take the dB and we divide it by 20. And then we raise that to the power of 10. And there's probably a minus sign in there also. Uh, so let's do this. So let's say that we have, uh, turn that off. Let's say we have uh, 6 dB, so we'll put in 6. And we'll divide that by 20. And is that right? 6 divided by 20. Yeah. And then we'll raise that to the, raise 10 to that. Uh, that's this button here. And, oh, and then it's 1 over this. 1 over this. Um, is... Point, point five zero one. Okay, so this is our formula. So um, equals uh, v over v. Okay. All right. So if we go here and we fill out the um, fill this out, we start with one volt. Let's say. Then I've written a program, and so this should be. 891, 794, these are point, uh, 707, you always hear about 707, right? 7079, um, 631, Five sixty-two, 
501, 446, 44, call it 446, 447, 398, 355, 316, 28, Two, and this should be a quarter volt, should be half of six and six, should be half of 501 to 51. There we go. Okay, so these are the numbers we should expect. Is that a little small for you to read? There you go. All right, so let's uh, hook up the voltmeter and we shall see what we shall see. And uh, so. We have uh, one volt going in, so we'll go to 1 dB. We expect 0.891. That's, point, that's not 0 0.891. Uh, 2 dB, we expect 794. That's pretty close, 794, so 2 works. 3 is 707, a little high. 4 is 631. Oh, that's terrible. Let me rattle them. Thing here, 0.5. Yeah, see the contact might be dirty. So now we're measuring around half a volt. That, nah, that's not right. 0.5 should be 5.62. That's not bad. 5.68. Six should be half a volt. That's right on half a volt. Seven should be 4.47. That's way off. Eight. 398. 398 is perfect. <clears throat> Nine. Should be 355, that's pretty good. 10 should be 316, that's way off. 11 should be 282, that's pretty good. And 12 should be a quarter volt. Mm, that's not quite right either. So, the VFF, VHF attenuator is sick. <laughs> so guess what, I get to open it up again and see if I can fix it.